Today we are going to cut a store purchased LED light string. Now I caught a lot of crap over this the last one I did, so I'm going to prove that it works. So these are Home Depot purchased LED dome lights. They are home accent. Um, there's a hundred LEDs in the string. So first thing I'm going to do is cut the little twisty ties off of the light string. Now I'm looking for the section that only has two wires. LEDs are unidirectional, so the power only flows through an LED in one direction. So an LED string has three wires. However, your plug has two, a positive and a negative. So what we want to do is go through the string and we want to find where the string has two wires. Don't cut an LED string if it doesn't have two wires. If it has three wires, you can't splice it, you can't do anything with it. So as you see, there's two wires, a positive, a negative. On the other end, there's a positive, a negative. It matches the plug. So we're going to strip away some of the insulation on the two wires. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter which one's positive and which one's negative. That's where the third wire comes in. Remember, you only have two wires. And you can plug your light string into the wall any direction you want. Upside down, um, you know, it doesn't matter which one's positive, which one's negative. So I have these cool little barrel connectors. These are uninsulated barrel connectors, and I'm just crimping these onto the ends of my wires where I've stripped the insulation away. So here's my plug and what I did was cut this plug off another light string uh, because I make these cool little Christmas trees and all I need to do is be able to plug into the Christmas tree um, with one plug and then I splice two other strands into the end. That way it leaves me uh, male and female connectors I take a large piece of heat shrink and put it over one end and I take a small piece of heat shrink and put it over one of the wires on the connector. Now I'm going to take my barrel connector and the socket connector and I'm going to crimp it on. And I'm going to do the same with the other wire. I'm just going to stick that wire in the barrel connector and crimp it on. There you go. Now I'm going to take my green heat shrink and I'm just going to slide it over um, that one barrel connector. I just want to insulate my barrel connector from the other barrel connector so I don't have to see it. I'm sure by now that you know that Christmas lights have a pretty good tolerance for wet, but they do not like being. Uh, electricity positive and negative touching. So now I just take my heat gun and I'm going to melt the black um, heat shrink. And the heat while it's melting the black will go ahead and melt the uh, green as well underneath. Alright, so now we have um, a new connector, a plug put onto the end of the light string where we cut. You see it works. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it works. So Christmas time brings out the worst in all of us. The last video I did of this, um, I got a lot of jackasses that um, told me that this would never work. You can't cut LED string. Well, if there's three wires, you're absolutely right. You can't cut an LED string. But most LED strings that are um, 100 LEDs or more are broken down into uh, multiple sets. Usually it's like 33 to 35 lights per string, per strand, and then there's two wires. So now I'm taking um, black electrical tape, or I'm sorry, green electrical tape, and I'm wrapping it around the ends because the way I do my light show is I have red, white, blue, green LEDs, and it's easier if you mark your strings so that you can tell what you're plugging into because you want to plug the green to green, red to red, blue to blue, white to white. Um, but anyway, there you go. 
So now I have this string left over. Um, there's probably roughly 68 lights per strand. And you just want to go through and you want to find where the two wires are again. So there's my two wires. And I'm just going to cut them and it's going to give me two more strands. And I'll put on uh, a male connector or a female connector. And uh, that's all there is to it. So uh, thanks for watching my video. I hope this helped you. Please don't flame me.